Scanning in football denotes an active head movement where a player's face is temporarily directed away from the ball to gather information in preparation for subsequently engaging with the ball. The aim of this study was to learn about how elite professional football players use visual scanning in real games, establish the extent to which scanning varies under different contextual conditions, for example, positional role, opponent pressure, pitch location, and game states, and to examine the relationships between scanning and performance. Method Participants were 27 professional male football players aged 17 to 32 years. All players represented the same team in the English Premier League in the 2017-2018 season. The data consisted of individual player ball possessions registered in 21 home games, 13 Premier League games, 6 UEFA Europa League games, and 2 League Cup games, that we filmed that season. The matches were video recorded with 3 video cameras. 8 students manually coded the behavioral data coming from the videos. These coders comprised of five students in football coaching at the Norwegian School of Sports Sciences and three students from different American universities. There were three categories of variables in this study, those related to scanning, context, and performance with the ball. A scan was operationally defined as a player's active head movement where the face is temporarily directed away from the ball, with the assumed intention of gathering information about teammates and or opponent, to prepare for subsequently engaging with the ball. Scan frequency is the number of scans per second, measured in the last 10 seconds that the team possessed the ball, before the target player received the ball. If within that 10 seconds time interval, the other team had possession and lost it to the target player's team, the time interval would instead start at the moment possession was won and end with the target player receiving the ball. Ball possession was here defined as having control of the ball. Context The positional roles were categorized into central defender, side defender, central midfielder, winger, and forward. This categorization was based on the official lineup for each game. Pitch location is defined as the player's position on the pitch when receiving the ball from a pass. Pass distance is calculated as the difference between the location of a pass and its reception. Opponent pressure was operationally defined as the distance between the target player and the closest opponent at the moment the target player received the ball. We assessed game state in two basic ways, game standing and accumulated game time. Game standing denotes whether the team, at the moment of that particular ball possession, is winning, losing or drawing. Performance with the ball. This variable assesses the direction of the target player's action in each situation, where the direction is estimated by the final position of the ball after the end action in relation to the opponent's goal line. Forward action is when the ball ends up closer to the opponent's goal line. Backward action is when the ball ends up further from the opponent's goal line. Sideward action is when the ball ends up approximately at the same distance from the opponent's goal line. Only vertical direction was measured in this variable, and possessions were only categorized as sideward in those instances where we could not say for sure that it was either forward or backward. Types of last actions registered were pass, shot, dribble, and receiving. The types of passes registered were long penetrative pass, short penetrative pass, forward non-penetrative pass, sideward pass, backward pass, and no pass. If the team of the target player maintains possession after the player's last action with the ball, this is registered as a successful action. Typically, this is a pass that reaches a teammate but it could also be a shot that is scored or a dribble or receiving action that produces continued possession. If the ball goes to an opponent thus possession is not maintained, it is registered as an unsuccessful action. Results The players performed on average 3.0 scans in the last 10 seconds before receiving the ball, giving a mean scan frequency of 0.44 scans. Scan frequency varies significantly with different positional roles on the team, with central midfielders showing the highest mean frequency and forwards the lowest mean frequency. Post hoc, pairwise comparison done tests show the scan frequencies for all positional roles were significantly different from each other with effect sizes ranging from trivial to medium. Opponent pressure and scan frequency. 
The scan frequency appears relatively low in situations where the opponent pressure is, and then progressively higher when pressure is lower until the closest opponent is about 4 meters away where a further increase in distance is not associated with an increase in scan frequency. A cross called Wallace test shows that the difference for pressure is significant. Post hoc pairwise comparison done tests show that the scan frequency for the two highest degrees of pressure are different from each of the other degrees of pressure. The third highest pressure is different from each of the other degrees of pressure except 7 to 9 meters, and the four lower degrees of pressure are only different from each of the three highest degrees of pressure. Pitch location and scan frequency. For passing events, on average, players scan above the 75th percentile when passing around their own 18 yard box in the central area between their penalty spot and the top of the D. Scanning tends to be above average but below the 75th percentile consistently through the left channel. The right channel does not show an exact symmetry of the left channel with scanning dropping off in both the defensive third and attacking third. Scanning decreases below average near the boundary areas, especially in the attacking third. It drops almost towards zero scans s near the defensive and attacking six yard box and near the right defensive corner flag. There is also a pronounced drop off in scanning from the midfield third to the attacking third. Game state and scan frequency. Game state, for the purpose of this study, was represented by game standing and accumulated game time. Game standing, whether the team at that moment is winning, losing, or drawing, was significantly, but marginally linked to scan frequency. Post hoc pairwise comparison done tests show that scan frequency was higher when the team is losing than when the team is drawing. There were no significant differences with when the team is winning. For game time, scanning frequency was relatively stable throughout the different time phases in the first half of the games but less stable in the second second half with a significant difference between the time phases. Post hoc pairwise comparison done tests, where we use Bonferroni adjustments to control for the large number of tests, showed no significant differences. When we combined game standing and game time, we observed a similar pattern when the team is winning, with no differences for the first half but a difference for the second half. For possessions where the team is drawing, there were no differences in the first half or in the second half. However, for possessions when the team is losing, there was no difference for the second half, but there was a difference for the first half where the scan frequencies tended to drop toward the end of the half. The post hoc pairwise comparisons for the first half showed significant differences between 45 minutes and 5, 10 minutes and between 45 minutes and 31 to 35 minutes. Both these effect sizes are considered large but the sample sizes are very small and the result needs to be interpreted with much caution. Scan frequency and action direction. Analysis of the player's scanning frequency prior to their last action in a ball possession showed that players scanned more frequently prior to actions directed forward and backward. Pairwise comparison with Bonferroni corrected adjusted significance values showed a difference only between passes directed forward and backward. Players had the highest scanning frequency when their last action was a pass, compared to a dribble receiving the ball and finishing. Pairwise comparison with Bonferroni corrected adjusted p-values show significant differences between passing and finishing passing and receiving, passing and dribbling and between dribbling and finishing. Breaking down the last actions in a possession into different passing types, players scanned most frequently prior to long penetrative passes and less with passes that were shorter and or less directed forward. Pairwise comparison with Bonferroni corrected adjusted significance values show significant differences between long penetrative passes and backward passes, long penetrative passes and sideward passes, long penetrative passes and short penetrative passes, as well as between forward, not penetrative passes and backward passes. Players scan significantly higher when possession was maintained after their actions with the ball than when possession was lost after their action. For those possessions where the players end up playing a pass they also scanned higher when their passes reached a teammate than when their passes did not reach a teammate.